Hello everybody, with the new whole universe, I hope everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value with my own experience and today we're going to discuss about competitive programming, about sports programming, about sports programming competitions and etc. Today we're gonna dive into it because it is uh, the new topic for me, I was familiar with it a little bit uh, in the past but actually I started to be interested in kind of uh, 3, 5, 7, uh, maybe 20 days ago or even earlier, maybe Two months, uh, four months ago, I started to kind of uh, <laughs> create set of knowledge inside of my brain about this thing. But uh, then I started to be, Jesus Christ, maybe need to participate or something. And I started to learn about it uh, more because I like competitions. Because in competitions, I understand that maybe I will be faster than someone because <laughs> so, uh, I have kind of the flow of the mind that I want. I want to, uh, to do this. I want to do this faster because it is kind of uh, when you do competitiveness not around the people who are kind of uh, maybe weaker than you in terms of the smartness in terms of the specific uh, connections in their mind in this specific area topic because you understand we are all unique in this world so somebody is uh, more is better in uh, maybe drawing in painting and in competition in painting he will be faster in some uh, someone in intellectual games will be faster, someone in uh, kind of computer games will be faster, someone in mem memorization techniques will be faster, and we have different uh, things. And uh, in mind, I, th I think that I can do this good, at least in math, because I like math, I like uh, multiplication, adding, subtracting, integration, logarithmization, also different types of polynomes, and uh, also sets, sets theory, graph theory, different types of clicks, graphs, and nodes, and connections between them. And I like it. And uh, also programming, it is the way how can I uh, apply my math math knowledge to the specific terms because I like math and uh, programming I like too but actually I mean that I sometimes not familiar super with uh, the language of programming I'm familiar kind of I can read but sometimes writing I uh, I need I have a need to improve my syntax uh, syntax uh, correctness because in terms of syntax sometimes I kind of uh, can write ampersand at uh, at sign it is uh, kind of this yes and uh, also ampersand uh, carrot uh, also it is typography symbolic uh, symbolic carrot it's, uh, it is when you do exponential and uh, also to the power of something you are kind of growing the number for example two in to the power of two it is uh, Four, yes, and to the power of three, it is eight, for example. And uh, okay, and uh, I kind of understand uh, them ampersand, colon, semicolon, uh, c out, c in, uh, std, o, std, in, std out, std leap, con io, con out, con in, io stream, and uh, also forward, open gl, web gl, direct accent, etc., and different types of include, conio, ash, include, uh, hash, ke, hashtag, include, conio, ash. And uh, also other things, uh, module, define, def, uh, function, fun, func, uh, and uh, things of this nature. Also for loops, for let i equals to zero, semicolon i less than ten, semicolon uh, i plus plus or plus plus i or plus plus j or plus plus k, or uh, then it will be curly bracket, curly bracket, and inside of it will be some of the body of the loop that we are writing. We have uh, for loops, while loops, uh, also nested loops, and etc. Also we can call a function and also we can define a variable and also we we have a model of memory of the specific programming language i kind of know how to read the language it is the same with uh, reading the English books. Uh, but actually right now I can uh, read English books, I have a good uh, kind of understanding of it. But actually in the first stage of my learning English it was kind of hard to me to do because uh, Jesus Christ, what do they mean? Uh, what, what does it mean? And uh, But writing by your own sometimes, when you write and try to 
to write it by your own, sometimes you have mistakes, grammar mistakes. Uh, and uh, the same with programming languages. Uh, sometimes I have grammar mistakes, syntax uh, mistakes, actually. We have different types of errors uh, in uh, programming th field. It is actually a syntax error, also linker error, also runtime error, also so source error, and one more error too. We have uh, five different errors we have, actually. And uh, I sometimes have syntax errors in terms of uh, I don't write it correct in, in terms of uh, the correctness. Yes, sometimes uh, semicolon is not here, or maybe the comma is not here, or something. Need to learn it, and everything will be fine. Actually, it will be amazing. So, competitive programming. We are already five minutes talking, and uh, about competitive programming. Yes, uh, I started to be interested in it, because uh, kind of uh, daily I, I do coding, I do programming in terms of uh, mathematical, pseudocode at least. Uh, it means that I do mathematical functions, I create them, kind of integrate, differentiate, logarithmic, and uh, also to the power of something, fast Fourier transform, also different types of Lagrange <laughs> multipliers, uh, multiplication, yes, matrices, and indices, identifiers, and uh, different field uh, things of this nature. Actually, it is uh, easy to me to understand. Uh, I, I also I memorized some uh, <laughs> identifiers, for example, ISSN, ISBN, IS, uh, IEIN. You can find it in, in the book if you will open also uh, some ISBN. It is uh, identifier uh, serial book number, I think so, or uh, or it is uh, international standard, uh, standard book number. And, and I... And ISSN, it is uh, international serial, serial something, <laughs> something number, <laughs> backronym we created right now. And uh, ISSN, it is serial uh, something, yes, uh, something number, okay. It is uh, for scientific purposes, mostly, for journals, magazines. And I... I E I N. It is identifier for the ebook, ebooks. Uh, it is uh, ident international ebook identifier number. I think so, and. Uh, also, I memorized it. Also, I memorized some data like uh, we have uh, we have milliseconds, seconds, minutes, hours, days, uh, weeks, uh, months. Uh, years, decades, centuries, millennia, uh, and myriads, uh, and etc. we have. Also, it is kind of uh, that I can recall it faster. It doesn't mean that, Jesus Christ, you don't know this, uh, but I can recall it fast. I memorized it in, in, in terms of I can recall it fast. Also, I memorized some programming languages, uh, names of them, JavaScript, Kotlin, Suits, 2 PHP, R, Lua, HTML, CSS, C, C++, C Sharp, Objective, C, C++, minus minus CS, Therese, Ruby, Rust, Python, X86, some language, Solidity, Tickle, Pascal, Object, Pascal, Base, Basic, uh, Fortran, uh, Wolfram Alpha, MATLAB, uh, Elixir, Erlang, <laughs> but TypeScript, PostScript, PureScript, uh, ActionScript, uh, and others, Eiffel, uh, also Dart, Hack, Julia, and uh, others, uh, Common Lisp, uh, Cobol, and etc. And uh, I memorized them, it is actually the list right now was for 440 positions, also we have uh, Ocamel, Camel, Pearl, and uh, for for them, Perl, yes, P-E-R-L. I memorize them, also data structures. It is, uh, <laughs> right now, will be. <laughs> it is uh, byte short, in long full, flow, double, char, string, boolean, stack, q, array, tuple, <laughs> b, binary tree, ternary tree, k, array tree, d, array, heap, uh, heaps, uh, tree, t-r-i-e, b, b, tree, by, uh, b, sharp, tree, b, asterisk, tree, b, <laughs> b, b, sharp, tree, b, plus, tree, also we have uh, a, a, tree, a, v, l, tree, rows, uh, something, also con control, control table, routing table, a sparse matrix, matrix, image, dope vector, leaf vector, dancing tree, tango tree, and uh, <laughs> radix tree, suffix tree, hash table, bloom filter, quotient filter, oak tree, and uh, also symbol table, piece table, light map, and uh, winked edge, half edge, and uh, something else was two winked edge half edge 
and others. Okay, and uh, it is kind of uh, the different types of uh, data structures, arrays, tuples, also lists, uh, multi-set, set, subset, uh, container, and different types of data that we can store. It is uh, kind of the same as uh, memorizing different types of uh, for example, numbers, yes, we have uh, real numbers, integer, natural, prime numbers, complex numbers, transcendental numbers, algebraic, uh, irrational, rational, and uh, also quaternions, octonions, sedineons. Different types of numbers, actually, it is uh, the semantic field for them I right now created. And uh, what do we have inside of them? Also, we have transcendent numbers, it is actually our uh, pi phi, tau, also, 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 Euler's number, for example, and also we have algebraic, uh, actually, irrational numbers, it is uh, the square root of 2, the square root of 3, the square root of 5, and etc. And also we have uh, natural numbers, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that we can see in our world, and also integer numbers, it's minus 3, minus 5, uh, 2, 3, 7, 11, and also have some floating point number. I was saying about it yesterday, yesterday about them. It is actually 7.3, 7.27, or maybe 23.39, and, uh, and etc. Or minus negative numbers, it could be too negative in terms of the, they are minus. Minus with minuses. And, okay, we have also... I memorized it and also it is the same as memorizing shapes. We have pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, icosahedron, polyhedron, polygon. It is uh, kind of sets. Polygons, poly, uh, polyhedrons. Polyhedrons, it is icosahedron, dodecahedron, tetrahedron, octahedron, and etc. And uh, polygons, it is pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon. And also we have square and triangle and rectangle and also circle. Circle, actually, it is uh, the polygon in terms of it has uh, the a lot of uh, it is the specific shape that it is when our I imagine that we have square and then it goes to the pentagon it is five angles then it goes to he hexagon six angles heptagon seven angles uh, octagon eight angles nonagon nine angles and when the number of angles goes to infinity it is the circle that's why we have approximation of pi because it is always kind of i'm it is always kind of uh, increasing the number of dots behind of it i imagine that you have always growing it is kind of uh, triangle rectangle uh, or square uh, uh, triangle square then it goes uh, to the pentagon hexagon heptagon and more 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 edges faces uh, ed i think that it's edges actually the name of it in uh, polygonal terms and faces this on the kind of 3D model. Okay, and uh, I kind of started to be better in it, in uh, mathematical kind of recalling from memory, easy, easily. Also, I know how to recall different types of languages, English, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, French, Amharic, Ges, Urdu, Persian, Arabic, Greek, Latin, Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian, Montenegrin, Fre French, Spanish, uh, also Portugal and others. Actually, it, it was without some gaps between uh, my speech. Actually, it could be faster. Uh, it is kind of uh, <laughs> need, need, to, need to train to do this. But actually, I can recall it. And uh, the same with... Uh, different types of jobs that we have welder brazer tradesman person to also guide tour yes and also solderer in terms of soldering something yes with on the printed circuit board also some scientific uh, directions uh, kind of physics geo geology geography geodesy cartography also bi linguistics biology anatomy zo zoology botany and etc and also different types of uh, linda maya system julia set uh, mandelbrot set it is uh, already mathematics and uh, 
also in the Maya system for botany. And uh, different types of DNA, RNA, uh, and uh, crossing over, uh, and it's kind of the set of uh, things that are used in uh, biology, especially in terms of the kind of uh, ge generation her he heritage, heritage, and also we have uh, mind, uh, brain, and it is uh, we have neural networks inside of it, neurons, uh, dendrites, axons, uh, synapses, and uh, myelin inside of our brain too, and uh, different connections inside of our mind. Actually, it is easy to understand, and uh, <laughs> if you learn it, and so. I started to, to think about uh, competition programming because uh, I kind of familiar already with the storms and need to go forward and how to go forward need to do competition in terms of the fastness, in terms of the haste, in terms of the going forward in the fast speed kind of striving and uh, not uh, being only on one spot, need to go forward. I understand that maybe on this channel it will be not super mega interested for some to, uh, some types of people, because uh, I understand that you are maybe interested in music, but actually I like music, I like music, I like dancing, it will be on my channel too. And <laughs> and uh, uh, But actually in terms of the programming, I understand that programming, especially competitive programming, it is uh, the kind of, we have I imagine that we have niches, yes? In our world we have niche mathematics, physics, uh, chemistry, yes? Uh, who is interested in ke in chemistry? H hydrogen, nitrogen, helium, and also lithium and silicon and uh, other things. Not so big amount of people, actually. In physics, even less, maybe. And also, in history, more, it's kind of statistics, because history is more interested to, to people. Linguistics, too. Some philology things, too. It is more interested to people because it is the language that we can imagine in real world but actually all the physics mathematics chemistry it is abstract models it is uh, not super easy to imagine and the programming it is inside of the physics and electronics and also inside of the and mathematics. Mathematics, actually, in most cases, because it uses mathematical models in terms of the language that applied to the computers. It is uh, what is uh, competitive programming, actually, and uh, programming, programming. Uh, and competitive, well, I imagine, and we have programmers, yes? Somebody will be interested in programming, because this kind of, oh, nice job, I will go to the front end development, I will create rectangles and buttons, uh, specific checkboxes, radio boxes, Boxes, a radio box it is when you choose one out of three for example and also uh, scrollers I will create different types of UI UX design in terms of that uh, we will see this different types of buttons uh, okay cancel and also authorization authentication authentication it is uh, who am I and uh, authorization it is uh, what are you allowed to do on website and actually it is kind of easy front end it's super easy kind of it is uh, colors RGB HSL HCL, HSV, HSB schemas, models uh, of the color, of the color, uh, color that we use. And actually, it is uh, understandable for people front end development. It is because we can see it. It is actually design that we see in pictures. Yes, uh, and uh, it is coding in terms of the pictures, visualization. People like visual visualization, they do this. Back end, it is a little bit already not super big niche. It is back end, it is about formulas. How to make authorization, how to make authentication on the website, different cryptographic algorithms, SHA-1, SHA-2, SHA-3, SHA-2, SHA-224, SHA-256, Blake-1, Blake-2, Blake-3, also RC-1, RC-2, RC-3, RC-4, RC-5, RC-6, MD-1, MD-2, MD-3, MD-4, MD-5, MD-6, 2-fish, 3-fish, Blowfish, Wake, Sober, Pike, Algorithms, El-Gamal, Algorithm, Diffie-Hellman, algorithm, elliptic curve algorithm, symmetric cryptography, uh, cryptographic algorithm, asymmetrical cryptographic algorithms, and etc. And so also AES, DES, DSA, RSA, 3DES, and etc. We have a lot of different algorithms used in cryptography. And it's all about permutation, combina combination, combinatorial, f factorials, and things of this nature. And uh, actually to know this, 
because uh, already not super big amount of people will be learning it because you understand it i think that you understand it is uh, super understandable talk because <laughs> in terms of that uh, it is not for the huge niche it is uh, for the kind of already small small segment it is for the kind of programmers who are interested in backend it is kind of logic and mathematical functions in it and uh, we already have uh, kind of I imagine we have all the population of the of the people then we have uh, different types of sciences uh, and history is the most interesting for the people and we have here math and uh, functions and programming and inside of the math we have we have programming and it's already smaller niche and uh, <laughs> inside of this smaller niche we have back-end uh, programming and uh, actually not only backend because front end sometimes so have competitions too but actually mostly back end kind of uh, to create different formals and solving problems cases and uh, situations things and inside of it inside of it we have already competitive programming that it is going to be the competition al <laughs> alone amongst and how to say it, uh, kind of, uh, when you are inside of, among, I think so, uh, among the people who are inside of this niche. And it is, it means that it is even smaller. And uh, also we have competitions uh, be around, around the people who are kind of on the starting level. And I am going to be on the higher level. It means that it is already kind of... Jesus Christ, not small amount of uh, people, it is kind of 10% of the participants of championship and it is uh, it means that not so big uh, amount. Actually, I'm right now in the uh, in the total number of comp uh, competitors uh, in participants and uh, I want to learn about it more. So, it was the talk preparation. I hope that you watched till this moment and uh, you understood what I was talking about. Actually, I created a lot of uh, examples that you need, uh, that you will understand what I, I was talking. And right now, I want to show one thing that I found on internet. It is uh, Code Forces. It is actually the website for competitive programming. And on this website, I found the specific topic list that uh, we can use. Actually, look at this. It's a rating, rating of the people who are accomplishing something. And imagine some people on this website have the rating for, for example has have uh, they have to uh, for example 3796 here's 3382 i imagine the gap between them it is only top 10 top 10 programmers on the website by the way <laughs> 99 okay and uh, okay ah it is the same the same number of points and I imagine 9 and first and between them the gap in Kind of, it is uh, more than 400, it is uh, 400, 414, 414 between these two numbers, I imagine, it is a lot, actually, because uh, we have, for example, different types of, na look at this, it is, uh, here is the gap between the kind of easy level and between the medium level, 400, and here is on the higher level, 400 numbers. Jesus Christ, a lot. And uh, we have the specific topic list. I want to read it today to make awareness, to create awareness inside of our brains about what's inside of it will be. Actually, will be metrics uh, inside of this, what need to learn to participate in this uh, in this field. And I will learn it uh, through my, my own way, through my way to be the better programmer to be the best developer ever lived yes <laughs> okay well, let's let's dive in metrics exponential metrics exponential fft fast fourier transform entity it is uh, numeric something transform online entity F FWHT, Lagrange interpolation, Lagrange interpolation with polynomial extraction, polynomial sum, polynomial with bi binomial co coefficient, coefficients. Why do I read it? Because uh, by reading it, we create specific kind of associations with it through kind of listening to it. It is the same as listening to the music. The more you listen to it, the more you remember. Actually, it is a repetition and uh, repetition helps, uh, especially when you create specific... Uh, mnemonics and associations with uh, 
within your life about it. Okay, subset sub sum problem, generating functions, polynomial structure, polynomial factorization of x to the power of n minus 1, or my, minus one, okay. Berke, Berle Camp Messe reads Sloan algorithm, linear recurrence uh, using Cayley Hamilton theorem, linear recurrence using generating functions, linear recurrence with polynomial coefficients, linear recurrence on matrices, generating functions of a linear recurrence, Gaussian elimination, Gaussian elimination under modulo, a Gaussian elimination modulo 2. <laughs> determinant under prime modulo, determinant under composite modulo, determinant of product matrix, determinant of sparse matrix, determinant of permutant matrix, determinant of a cyclic matrix, cauchy binet formula, Thomas algorithm, inverse of a matrix, inverse of a matrix modulo 2, basis vector, basis vector reduced to row echelon form, basis vector fit uh, weighted linearly independent ve vectors, permanent of a matrix, all possible perfect matching XOR values, Nef he Hefnian of a matrix, Van der Mont matrix, uh, Freivold's algorithm, character characteristic polynomial faster ha Hazerberg matrix, Volhaber's formula faster, Lagrange multipri multiplier, Titus lemma, simplex algorithm, integration, a line, in line integral, the slime trick, gauss erika theorem, LTE lemma, expected value, expected value powers technique, finite field arithmetic binary, max convolution between convex functions. functions. Number theory. Binary exponenti exponentiation, modular inverse, sieve, sieve up to 1e9, extended Euclid, combinatorics basics, Lucas theorem, NCR modulo any mod, prefix sum queries of NCI, sum of NCI over a fixed congruence class, sum of NCR AIK for each k from 1 to n, sum of NCI for a fixed large n, phi function, power tower, Mobius function, CRT, linear congruence equation, Pollard row, primitive root, multiplicative order, Carmichael's lambda function, discrete lock, discrete root, discrete root in OP to the power of 1, 1 fourth using tonally Schenck's algorithm, number of distinct kth powers modulo n, number of solutions to x to the power of 2 equals to 1 mod m, tonally Schenck's algorithm, Pell's equation, linear D, Diophantine equation with two variables, trivariable tri linear Diophantine equation with non-negative solutions, multivariable linear Diophantine equation with non-negative solutions, linear Diophantine with uh, Diophantine with uh, an unknowns and two equations, floor sum of arithmetic progression, generalized floor sum of arithmetic progression, sum of floors, 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 uh, <laughs> okay, floors a number of non-negative integer solutions to a x plus b y less or equal to c number of a x percent p in a range. It is model, I think so. A smallest non-negative integer x s t. I don't know what is it s t l maybe a x percent less than uh, less than or greater to p less than or greater to r, prime count counting function, chi divisor, smallest number having exactly chi di k divisors, sum of the number of divisors in c, b, r, t, n, linear c for multiplicative functions, mean 25 c, Mobius inversion, Dirichlet convolution, number of solutions to a basic uh, linear algebraic equation, number of solutions to a basic linear algebraic equation with variable upper bounds constant Constraints, partition function, stir, Stirling number of the first kind of uh, four fixed n, Stirling number for the first kind of four fixed k, Stirling number of the second kind of four fixed n, Stirling number of the second kind four fixed k, <laughs> Bell number, L LCM of Fibonacci numbers, uh, phi field, Pisan Pisano. Period, rational approximation storm broker 3, factoradic number system, 
intersection of arithmetic progression, continued fractions, maximum co-prime co product. Co -pro uh, prime product. Actually, right now we read only number theory. Imagine, and math, math and uh, and number theory. Imagine only, and we are going next. If you want to, <laughs> okay, you can listen or it, it, it will be because it's a kind of educational, at, at least new words maybe appear to you actually to pronounce it. I know how to pronounce some of them, not fully. Okay, graph theory, DFS and BFS, deep, uh, deep depth first search and breadth first search, O1 breadth first search, dials algorithm, inverse graph, LCA, LCA in O constant, SCC, incremental SCC, DFS3, rerouting technique, articu articulation bridges and bridge tree, online articulation bridges, strong orientation, articulation points, block cut tree, three edge connectivity, four edge connectivity, demand dynamic K connectivity, primes MST, Krushkal's MST, Steiner tree problem, Barufka's algorithm, minimum diameter spanning tree, Manhattan MST, Euclidean MST, directed MST, dynamic dynamic MST, Dextra's algorithm, Dextra on segment tree, Bellman Ford, Floyd Warshall, Johnson algorithm, SPFA, cycle detection, minimum weight cycle for each vertex, minimum weight cycle for each edge, dominant no, dominant Terminator 3, 2 SAT, 3 SAT, maximum click, number of different clicks, maximum independent set, Euler and path on a directed graph, Euler and path on an undirected graph, path union, path intersection, virtual tree, Welch Powell algorithm, chromatic number, chromatic polynomial E fits number of DAGs, dynamic DAG re Ability, minimum mean weight cycle, number of three and four length cycles, counting labeled graph, chordal graph, cactus graph, edge coloring of simple graph, edge coloring of a bipartite graph, dynamic diameter online, tree orientation to maximize pairs of reakable nodes, number of ab ab arborescences so with n nodes, secure. Uh, Kirchhoff's uh, theorem fit numbers number of MSTs, Tata's theorem fit aborescence in a graph, best theorem, system of difference constraints, prof proper code, number of ways to make a graph connected, tree isomorphism, number of paths of each length in a tree, ear decomposition, Epstein's algorithm, Hamiltonian path heuristic algorithm, erdos galai theorem, Havel-Hakimi algorithm, Dynix algorithm, push relabel algorithm, mean cost max flow, mean cost max flow with negative uh, cycles, maximum closure problem, mean cut in a planar graph, M max cut in a planar graph, unique mean cut, L R flow, Gomori Hue tree, Gomori Hue tree of uh, planar graph, Stoer Wagner algorithm, Hopcroft Carp algorithm, Kuhn's, Kuhn's algorithm, Hungarian algorithm, Blossom algorithm, Blossom algorithm weighted, Chinese postman problem, ST numbering, po POSET fit Dilworths and Mirsky's theorem, stable marriage problem, Hulse theorem, maximum density subgraph, randomized matching, number of perfect matching, matching in a graph, planarity check. Okay, nice. And we have also strings here. And uh, okay, I will show you kind of, and we will read also geometry. Let's read geometry and then we will go kind of only showing. Geometry. Geometry 2D everything. Basic point structure 2D. Polar sort 2D. Basic line structure 2D. Angle bisector 2D. Dist from point to line 2D. Dist from point to, uh, to ray 2D. Dist from point to segment. Dist from segment to segment. Check if points is on segment. Line sign intersection. Point line relation. Project from point to, to line. Project from point to segment. Ray ray distance. Ray ray intersection. Reflection from point to line, segment line intersection, segment line relation, segment segment intersection, <laughs> basic circle structure, circle circle area, circle circle intersection, circle circle relation, circle line er intersection, circle line relation to D, circle point relation to D. It's all 
to the tangent lines uh, from point to D, uh, tangent lines from circle, maximum circle cover, maximum inscribed circle, triangle circle intersection, polygon circle intersection, circle union, centroid of a polygon, convex hull, diameter of a convex polygon, extreme vertex, geometric median, convexity check, check if points is in convex, check if points in the po in polygon, minimum enclosing circle, minimum enclosing rectangle, polygon line intersection, width of a polygon, windy number, dist from point to polygon, dist from polygon to line, dist from polygon to polygon, maximum dist from polygon to polygon, tangents from points uh, point to polygon, polygon union, Minkowski sum, geometry 3D everything, basic point structure, basic line structure, plane structure, 3D coordinates to D, to, to D, distance from segment to point, distance from triangle to point, distance from triangle to segment, distance from triangle to triangle, distance from segment to segment. Plane, plane intersection, basic sphere structure, sphere line intersection. Actually, easy, easy topics for geometry. I understand it. I right now read and kind of understand what is it. Segment, segment intersection on sphere, oriented angle on sphere, area on the surface on the sphere, windy number 3D, convex hull 3D, peaks theorem, closest pair of points, all pair segment intersection, dynamic convex hull, Delaunay triangulation, Voronoi diagram. Oh, it's with points and with growing uh, colors uh, it is tessellation interesting thing you can google it half uh, plane intersection dynamic uh, half plane intersection onion decomposition point location convex hull intersection using minkowski Generating points without uh, collinear triplets maximum area of uh, a triangle from given lengths Vertical decomposition. Game theory also grandi number green hack and bush on trees and graphs blue red hack and bush games on arbitrary gra graphs a matching game on a graph number. Okay, and uh, what's uh, the number between them was here? Okay, we ha have here. 216 and uh, 341 okay and uh, let's go lower and also strings let's learn about strings because strings it is interesting it's about linguistics key mp prefix automation z algorithm aho koresic dynamic aho koresic aho koresic fit all pair occurrence relations string matching using bit set string matching with fft string hashing 2d string hashing suffix array isomorphic suffix array suffix automation suffix automation feed distinct substring queries in range suffix tree palindromic tree palindromic uh, okay persistent palindromic tree Ma Manekers algorithm, minimum palindrome factorization, number of palindromes in a range, Linden factorization, main Lorentz algorithm, all substring, longest common subse subsequence, bit LCS, cyclic LCS, De Bruijn sequence LCS on RLE compressed string. Okay. Okay, and DP, digital, prog uh, it is dynamic programming, actually, Li Chao tree, persistent, dynamic, okay, DP over divisors, okay, we have them, and also data structures, it is here, you can read it if you want, so it's SQRT tree, KD tree, Cartesian tree, rope, monotonous Q, and etc. We could read it in the next time, for example, for example, if you want, okay, DP, bounded uh, knapsack, store equation, X2 plus 1 trick, open and close interval trick, bit mask, DP and also let's go lower we have uh, here some uh, geometry was and also g uh, game theory miscellaneous by big int big int two pointers binary search fraction binary oh binary search fraction binary search turn ternary search parallel bar binary search Josephus problem permutation with no arithmetic progression balanced brackets knight moves in infinity grid by shop placement oh it is chess match gray code mx MEX of all subarrays, dates, uh, Schreiser Sims algorithm, expression parsing, randomized algorithm, kth root of a permutation, a matroid intersection, SMAWK algorithm, Lindstorm, Lindstrom Gazel Vienot Lemma. Important links, useful blocks, you uh, Kazo guide, helpful extension, stress testing problems that will make you learn something new, and XOR. Uh, a segment tree and uh, let's find out what's th what's there wow the list of them it is actually the huge data here a lot of them 
Okay, and also have uh, different types of useful blocks. Okay, help for helpful extensions. Let's open it. Okay, mathematic stuff. Number theory in computer tutorial. Oh wow, a lot of strings. Dynamic program segment three. MOS algorithm range queries graphs trees. Z category. Wow, a lot. Pro problem setting. CSES editorial. To practice problems, have some fun. Okay. Other similar lists and if we'll open number theory and uh, if we'll open it, it'll be there actually. Some what we can do. Yes, 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 yes. A lot of them. Actually, our... It is uh, about them. Actually, need to learn uh, how to write code in terms of the correctness. Okay, and uh, it is... It is what is it, everybody? 454 different uh, topics actually are written, and uh, it is uh, good. We can we can practice them. I think that my next goal, my next goal, it is to be familiar with it. Need to memorize the names of them. Names of them. How do they work? And uh, by memorizing it, it will be easier. It is the same as memorizing 400 different names of the people. And who are they? What What's their profession? What's their occupation? What's their job? Yes? What do they do in their life, uh, life uh, for a living? Yes? And it is the same. Need to learn uh, the list. Actually, you, I can... Uh, but actually, you've seen it uh, already. Uh, you can kind of... Uh, kind of... Uh, type this link uh, and uh, website you found it is uh, for code force in catalog it is first link in the catalog the ultimate topic list with resources problems and templates you can find it there actually and uh, find something for yourself if you want actually what i wanted to say that it is the same as one moment it is to drink a water this water The more we, the more we practice, the better we are. Actually, the next uh, videos will be about me learning it or singing or doing composing because I like I I really prefer my, prefer myself as a showman in terms of the dancing and singing. Also, I like developing. I like mathematical stuff, and also I like kind of dancing, singing, and composing and music playing. It is all. But kind of main topics. Also, I like drawing and painting. It is interesting. I like learning YouTube. And uh, I actually, next videos will be about me memorizing all the stuff and trying to explain it to you in an easy, maybe, a language. Or at least, uh, first of all, memorizing it uh, through this. What's the value for you? Actually, if you will be learning it, it will be more semantic fields. Semantic field, it is the field of around the specific word. Semantic, actually, a semantic field means that, for example, we have a dog. Yes, a dog, it is an animal. It, it could be a pet. It could be a specific creature. It could be, the spe it has the cord, it spine, yes, and also muscles. And it is kind of the specific words that are describing it actually in the semantic field. It doesn't mean that uh, it could describe it in terms of the description, but actually it is synonymous words that are kind of connected with it. It is specific distributive, distributi distributi distributional semantics. It is uh, the specific words that are describing it in terms of the relating to this, in terms of Distribution semantics, distributional di semantics, it is uh, how long of, how long one word is locating from another word, uh, in terms of, for example, I say to you, sun, yes, and you can say heat, or you can say association with its a star, or you can say it, uh, pancakes, because in Russia we have maslinitsa, maslinitsa actually is a specific kind of... Uh, What's it? Uh, it is uh, celebration. Celebration in uh, in March, uh, in March or April. Sometimes in February. Sometimes it is actually in in the beginning of the spring in most cases. And uh, actually, we have it. And uh, the w word word to vec word w o r d to vec. VEC vector. It is actually the specific term that describes how, how, how what's the kind of number for a word to describe a specific word. 
of, uh, in terms of the semantic field and distributive uh, distributional semantics. What is it? Distributional semantics. We have a word, yes, sun and pancakes will be so far away. It will have kind of a number of 0 0.2. But the word star or heat will be kind of in terms of a solar system. Co a solar system concept will be there. It could be, it could have 0 0.5. It has 0 0.2. It has the heat will be 0 0.9, and star will be 0 0.9 or 98 or something. It, it means that it it has something and 0 0.6 or maybe some numbers. Okay, and here is the kind of connections between them that the the more the kind of in terms of our notation that it is from 0 to 1 it will it will have included 0 and 1 <laughs> the the more two words connected to each other through the number of the more it it belongs to 0 0.99999 the more synonymous they are and the less they are and even if we will create minus one, for example, from minus one to one, the more it goes to minus zero nine 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 nine, <laughs> then it uh, it's uh, it is the specific antonym, super mega antonym for this word. But if it is zero point uh, zero point uh, minus zero point two, then it is antonymous, but it li at least a little bit, not fully. Yes, uh, and uh, for example, sun water, it's kind of antonymous. <laughs> yes, and uh, uh, heat, because, but not fully, actually, yes, and uh, and heat and uh, water, they are antonymous, but not fully, but heat and cool, it is, uh, diff it is kind of in terms of cooling, cooling in terms of kind of freeze, freezing heating, freezing heating, it is kind of antonymous in a kind of super mega nice connection, antonymous, and uh, we have uh, less, for example, we have snow and heat, it is less a little bit uh, than heat and, for example, the freeze, yes? Freezing and cooling and... Uh, I hope that you understand. And snow and fire, they will be connected, yes, uh, kind of... Uh, flames and snow, snow and... Uh, I hope that you understand. Of, of ice and... Uh, ice and... Uh, Ice and fire, yes, flames and ice. It is they are kind of antonymous in terms of that they are really kind of antonymous. But some of them could be uh, some words could be a little bit in a semantic field of them. So and when I do videos about it, you are kind of getting, you are increasing your semantic field in terms of this specific term that I'm speaking about. So, thank you a lot for watching, see you next time, Professor Daly, go forward and uh, let me know in the comment section below what did you understand, what uh, maybe some insights for you, and uh, what are the insights, and have a good day, Professor Daly, bye!